Hi guys, so this video is all about how I personally save money on clothes, shoes and accessories incorporating a minimalistic philosophy because they kind of go hand in hand. Now I absolutely love fashion and I love shopping, but I also like sticking to my budget, exercising some self-control, knowing my own personal style and taste. And so when I open up my wardrobe doors, I want to look at it with pride and joy. And I want to know that I'm getting the most out of my wardrobe. I enjoy getting dressed and I wear everything in there. So for this video, I'm sharing with you all of my personal tips and tricks as to how I personally save money on clothing, shoes and accessories. I've got lots of things to share, so I'm going to waste no time at all and get straight into this. Number one, I use ShopTagger. ShopTagger is a free app. Now, when you're shopping online and you find something that you absolutely love and really would like to buy it, but for whatever reason can't, ShopTagger makes that whole process really easy. So the other day I realized I needed a couple of new tops to wear to work and I came across this absolutely beautiful Vince peachy pink blouse. Perfect, exactly what I needed. But at that price, I just couldn't justify it. However, I didn't want to miss out if it went on sale, but I didn't need to worry. I simply clicked on the shop tagger icon, which I had already downloaded in my browser. I added the style, the color, the size, and when I wanted to be notified. And I selected when it goes on sale. Now shop tagger, take all that information and add it neatly into my account. So if that item goes on sale, they will immediately notify me and I can then decide if I want to go ahead and buy it then and there. So not only will I save money, but I'll also get the delayed gratification. So I will actually appreciate that item so much more from waiting. Now, because ShopTagger has a free app, it doesn't matter whether you're shopping on your laptop, your desktop, your tablet, or your phone, it's all neatly organized. And that's probably what I love the most about ShopTagger is it takes all those wish lists that you've got on all these different websites and combines into the one central point, which means shopping online is really very efficient as well as saving money. And it actually organizes all the items that you want into different categories. So I have all my handbags saved together. I have all my shoes that I want saved together, all the dresses, the tops, everything. It makes it really very organized and you're feeling very in control. And of course it has a share function. So say you want to share one of those items from your wish list or maybe all of those items from your wish list with someone special because you have a birthday say coming up. It makes it very easy to simply give them a very direct hint. So essentially shop tagger makes you think, plan and save. Tip number two, I love pre-loved. I have absolutely no problem whatsoever buying secondhand pre-loved items. And there are a couple of websites that I really stick to because I know they're reputable, the items are authentic, the description is very accurate, and I know that the delivery and tracking is completely safe. And I'll make sure I put a link in the description box from those websites. But I have saved so much money. And the great thing also about buying secondhand is there have been plenty of times where I've really wanted to go and buy a dress and they've sold that completely or they've sold out in my size and I've often found that exact item in my size on some of those pre-loved websites and for me particularly when it comes to buying handbags I actually prefer them to be secondhand to me a handbag is something really special and I love that it's already been carried around it already had a little bit of an adventure or journey itself when it comes to me to me it gives that handbag that little bit more character Tip number three, I only buy what I love. I'm an incredibly fussy buyer. If it isn't perfect, if it's a little bit tight here or there, or makes me feel a little bit itchy, I simply hand it back and walk out of the shop. And there is something incredibly empowering when you try something on and you hand it back to the shop assistant and say, thank you, but it's not quite right for me. And you walk out of that store with your wallet still full. Tip number four, I practice the pause. I get a little bit crazy when sales come to the point where sometimes I will even avoid the sales in the shops completely because my head is about to explode and I can get really overwhelmed and lose track of the things that I actually really need and get sucked into the things that I really want. So I just take my time when it comes to the sales. I'll walk around slowly, look at things, take my time and breathe. This has stopped so many remorseful purchases where I would have just bought things simply because they were on sale. Tip number five is for the minimalists out there. Now, as I said, when I buy something, I absolutely love it. So I want to wear it. Now, I'm not going to be restricted because of weather conditions or particular times of the year. I want to wear my items of clothing all year round so I get the most amount of mileage out of those items. So I have these 
sexy bad boys. Yep, Spanx, Nancy Gants, whatever you want to call them. So the other night, it's quite cold in Sydney at the moment, it's winter. And I have this beautiful white floral dress that I really wanted to wear to dinner. But being absolutely freezing outside, I couldn't really wear it. But when I layered up with these underneath, plus some black opaque stockings, I was good to go. I was snug as a bug in a rug, and I had that wonderful silhouette that these passion killers created. But do remember to take them off before anybody sees you in them. Tip number six is quality over quantity, even if it means paying a little bit more. It is much worth getting your dollars per wear if it's going to last a long time. So really inspect the quality of the item. Inspect the stitching, the lining, the buttons, the fabric. Know that it's going to wear well and it's going to wash well. Tip number seven is shop to your activities. I could very easily go out there and buy a dozen really colourful, fun little party dresses, but that's not really going to be appropriate for when I'm sitting in front of a client at work, at the gym, or running around the park with Rocco and the dogs in a teeny tiny dress. So what I recommend you do is you stop and have a look at what your day-to-day -day and weekly activities involve, and then shop according to that. Also, another little tip I do is when I notice I need something, I make a note in my phone. So if I am out shopping and feel the desire maybe to buy something, I'll make sure I cover something on the list of things that I actually genuinely need for my activities. Tip number eight is I shop at a very limited number of shops and brands. Because I'm super fussy, I will make sure I shop at brands that I know and trust. Now, there are a couple of benefits in doing it. One, I of course know the quality of the items and the typical fabrics they like to use. But also when I buy a new item from that shop, I generally know that that consistent style and taste is going to work with the items already in my wardrobe. So I'm going to be able to really expand my wardrobe. Tip number nine is I follow a capsule wardrobe. I have spent a lot of time reflecting and analyzing my own personal style and taste and building up from it from there. Now from really having a good understanding of my own personal style and taste, I'm able to appreciate others so much more. And I don't waste money, but I also don't waste time. I don't waste time trying on a top that I know is just not gonna work for me and not suit my body shape. Tip number 10 is I have a list in my phone of everything that I own. So if I'm out shopping and I'm tempted to buy another pair of jeans, I can quickly refer to the list in my phone and remind myself that I already own five pairs of jeans and I don't really need to add to that list or I need to make a decision as to what pair of jeans on that list needs to go. And this is really good because it questions your value system. And if I'm not prepared to let go of any of those jeans on my list, well then I know not to go ahead and purchase that item. Put it back and walk out of the shop. And then my final tip for saving money on clothes, shoes and accessories, I own my style. I have absolutely no shame wearing the same items over and over again. Yes, I sometimes do get comments that I'm wearing, oh, the same top again, or yes, that handbag over and over again, and can you please go out and buy something new? I don't care. I am proud of the way I dress, and I feel comfortable in the way that I dress. And when I look back in fashion at some of the most amazing icons in history that I adore, like Grace Kelly, Jackie Onassis, Marilyn Monroe, they had a very particular style and they wore it well and they owned it and they wore it over and over again. And looking back, those items have actually never gone out of fashion and they're still amazingly famous today than they were back then. And to me, that's inspiring and that inspires me to stay true and authentic to my personal style and taste, which incorporates a minimalistic philosophy. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go and check out my other fashion videos, in particular, the video on how to build a capsule wardrobe, where I show you how to really get a good understanding of your own personal style and taste. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and definitely go and check out the Shop Tagger website. The link is in the description box below. And I will see you next week for either Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao.